There is a new mystery model on open router called Horizon, and this is allegedly the open weight model from OpenAI. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the outputs that I have been able to create. Then we're going to also talk about the new information that we know about the open weight models and some potential leaks, both about the size and capabilities of the model. So today they released or made available Horizon Beta. So this is the second version of the same model. There was Horizon Alpha that people were testing for the last few days. Now OpenAI has previously tested models on open router before release. So for example, if you recall uh, Quasar Alpha, this was a version of GPT 4.1 with million tokens. So some quick technical details before I show you a few demos or outputs. So it has a context window of 256,000 tokens with max output of 128,000 tokens, which makes it a really good candidate for coding. And in fact, it's a really good coding model. And the throughput that you are getting on open router is pretty awesome. It's 137 or 140 tokens per second, which also shows that it's a much smaller model compared to something like the GPT-4 series. Okay, so first let me show you some really impressive things about this model. So I took this prompt that the Google team used with Gemini 2.5 Deep Think. So here's the output that I get from Horizon Beta. Now it's definitely really impressive, especially if you compare it to something like Gemini 2.5 Flash. You can actually zoom in, zoom out. It also added time of day, which is pretty neat. So let's go back to dusk and you can also, I think, increase bloom and vin. I don't know if it actually has any impact on the output that you see, but you can regenerate this in different styles, which is a pretty neat touch. Okay, so here's another prompt. So in this case, I provided very detailed instructions of telling it I want a Rubik's Cube solver. And based on the requirements, it was able to generate a good solution. So for example, for smaller sizes, it works flawlessly. Let's actually start with the three by three, right? So you can scramble it and then you can use the solver to run the animation of solving it. Now at the back end, it's using Cochamba's algorithm. So that's the algorithm that usually people use for solving these Rubik cubes. Now for bigger sizes, the scrambling doesn't really work that it is able to scramble only the outer layer and let's see if it's going to be able to solve it. Okay, seems to be able to solve it. So I provided a detailed prompt on creating a SaaS website, and I think it did a really good job with the landing page. I implemented most of the stuff that I wanted, including these neat animations. For example, if I click on this card, seems to be working fine. Even the buttons are working, and even I think it tries to run the script, but although it generated an error, which is fine because it's just a mock website and you can switch between dark and light theme, right? So far so good. Okay, here's an implementation of or solution of Tower of Hanai. So again, if any model that is able to implement recursion should be able to solve this. Now, in this case, it did something weird because these blocks are upside down. And even when it's trying to solve it, seems like it's solving upside down, All right? So maybe that's just the orientation problem, but for this one, you should be able to get the optimal solution in 15 steps and it's able to do it. Here's another problem that a lot of people are trying out with these models now, and it does a pretty decent job at it. You can generate different planets. There are biomes, ocean, so the blue is supposed to be ocean, forest, deserts and then these supposed to be mountains right and i can change the quality it actually improves the quality if you keep it to ultra so far so good but there are some interesting failure cases as well for example this is my normal prompt where i ask these models to implement a heptagon and then 20 bouncing balls which are going to collide with the sides this was not able to do it i tried it a couple of times I didn't have any luck with it. So here's another prompt that I usually use. So this is supposed to be a simulation of letters falling under the influence of gravity. In my tests, it was not able to solve it. 
Now, these are just some toy examples, but let's say a real use case could potentially be something like this. So you provide unstructured test with a schema and you want some sort of structured output. So in this case, I provided the instruction of what exactly I want, the schema, and then the unstructured text here. This is especially important if you are building any agentic systems because most of the cases you want structured output and it does a really good job at it. So I would personally say that this is a really good coding model, especially if it's actually an open source model and it's 120 billion parameter or a 20 billion parameter would be like pretty, pretty amazing if it's able to do this. Okay, so you probably heard me a couple of times mentioning these two different sizes. So where exactly they're coming from? So Jimmy Apples posted this. So before people take credit, I found the OpenAI open source a minute after the upload and saved the configs and other stuff before it was removed. Allegedly, OpenAI was using some of these tests account to upload the model to Hugging Face, right? Jimmy Apple says that there are two different models. One is 120 billion parameters and the other one is 20 billion parameter. There is also some information about the architecture. So it seems to be an MOE or mixture of expert with 128 experts. Now, we don't know whether the architecture itself is correct or not, but it seems like it actually has these two sizes. So here is Yan Chen Jin, who is the city of Hyperbolic. And I think he previously said that they had access to the weights. So if you recall, OpenAI was supposed to release it and then they decided not to release it because of some safety concerns. But today he said OpenAI is not releasing GPT-5 or open source models. And then he mentions that 120B and 20B today. Also the OS models are were not pre-trained in FP4. The leaked weights were just quantized. So it seems like there is some truth to the weights being leaked and those seems to be the actual weights, but these are quantized weights, not the actual weights. So it seems like next week we are going to potentially see the open weight model release from OpenAI. Now, this is a very interesting time because right now, if you look at the open weight models that we have access to, they're predominantly coming out of China. So this is based on the Art Artificial Analysis Intelligence Index. According to that, Grok4 is the best model out there. But then if you look at all the open weight models on this list, they are out of China. And actually, if you zoom out a bit and just look at open weight models themselves, it gives you a very interesting picture. So right now, out of the first 22 open weight models, there are only two models which are not Chinese. Actually, probably three, because I think one of these Nemotron models is also based on Quinn. There is Mistral Small at the bottom and Meta Maverick is actually right at the bottom. So it will be good to see an open weight model from OpenAI. However, we're not sure about the licensing that is going to be very interesting how they put out the license. It could be a research one, commercial one, we'll have to see. Anyways, do let me know your thoughts. What do you think these models are going to be? We'll have to see at the benchmarks as well to see how good the models are. But I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.